Chicago police arrested four black teenagers after they kidnapped, threatened, and tortured a white man with special needs and streamed the whole thing on Facebook Live. Brittany Covington, Tanisha Covington, Tess Faye Cooper, and Jordan Hill are now locked up following a Facebook Live video that lasted 30 minutes. It shows a young man tied up in the corner of an apartment with his attacker standing over him with a knife. They begin hitting the defenseless man and cutting into his scalp and clothes while laughing. The attackers then scream profanities about Donald Trump and white people. The victim is currently being treated in a nearby hospital for his wounds. Police say nearly everyone involved in the attack was 18 years old, including the victim. Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson says he felt disgusted after he first watched that video. Have you seen the video? It's, it's, it's sickening. It's sickening. You know, it makes you wonder what would make individuals treat somebody like that. Johnson also called the crime reprehensible and says racism has no place in the city of Chicago. He also added that there was never a question whether the incident qualified to be investigated as a hate crime, but he did want to base the investigation on facts, not emotion. President Obama commented on the video that was captured live. Uh, technology allows us to see now is, is the terrible toll that uh, racism and discrimination and hate uh, takes on families and communities. Uh, but that's part of how we learn and how we get better. Uh, you know, we, 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 don't, uh, we don't benefit from uh, pretending that racism doesn't exist and hate doesn't exist. Uh, we, we don't benefit from not talking about it. Uh, the fact that these things are being surfaced means we can solve them. Chicago police say the victim voluntarily went with one of the suspects who is a former classmate. It's still unclear when the situation turned into a violent kidnapping, but authorities now say the disabled man was abused for six hours. The 18-year-old victim, male victim was forced to drink water out of a toilet and suffered at least one gash to his head after being bound and beaten for six hours. Police said the victim was traumatized and took and it took them most of the night to calm him down before they were able to talk to him about the incident. Police charged the attackers with hate crimes, kidnapping, unlawful restraint, and battery with a deadly weapon. The suspects make their first court appearance today.